lovelies and welcome to Taff Rocks. I'm really excited about this week's project because I'm going to create a frog. The reason why I'm excited is I want it to be a plump frog and I want it to be by the side of some water. Now I'm not sure if I want it to sit on some rocks, sit on the side of a pond, sit on a log, sit on a lily pad. I don't know. You guys will already know because you've seen the picture at the front. But right here, right now, I don't know what it is that I am going to do. So I'm going to stop with the waffling and I'm just going to get straight into this project. Come with me. Okay, so I've done my outline in pencil. And I know you guys can't see this very well. So I'm going to try and explain what I'm doing as I'm going along. Right, my first task is his little round face. Now for you guys, you can carry on going round if you use the pencil and then rub it out later. But I need to leave room for his eyes and I'm going to put those in right now. Okay, so when you get to this part, once it's dry, you can rub the line out that's going between his eyes. Now his body. Nice chunky round body. So far he doesn't look like anything. Now for his legs, what I'm going to do for you is I'm actually going to put all my lines in because I'm going to be painting over this in a darker colour anyway. So for the top of his legs it's an oval on the side. And you guys, with your pencil, you're going to be rubbing this line out. Okay, so all you'll see is the bit out here. So there's my two ovals. His feet, or flippers. Two lines, progressively getting bigger as you kind of get to the bottom. And then little wavy bits for his toes. Now for his front ones, I'm just going to put a line down the middle. I'll be painting over this as well. Line down the middle, one by the side, one by the either side, and little flippers again. Okay, his mouth and stuff will go on later but I think I'll just give him a big smile so you can see how he looks so far. So, huge smile. There you go. And there he is. So, I'm going to go away now and I'm going to paint everything in green. Obviously, not his eyes. They're going to stay white. And then I'll be back with you when that's done. couple more coats on this and it's going to start looking a little bit more like a frog. Now before I finish doing all his features I'm just going to add a little bit of scenery here because it looks a bit boring. So our little frog is going to sit on a log. Let's have some trees as well. Let's colour our log in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start the colours off and then take it away because I don't know if you can hear in the background. There's some DIY going on here as well. So what's going to happen is this is going green, this is going green. This is going to be a different shade of blue to the water. Then I'm going to add some rushes and all that kind of stuff. So I'll start off as I mean to go on and then we'll come back when I've done it all. that in a moment. Right, so I'm going to go off and finish all these bits. Now I know which colours go in where and I'll see you when it's done. 
Okay, time for some details. A couple of speckles on this year frog. I think I'm going to give him some blue eyes. Yeah, I know, frogs don't have blue eyes. <laughs> He's looking a bit silly. So some extra details. start some outlining. Now I tried some brown lines on this but it hasn't worked so I guess I'm gonna have to put some some black ones on. It turned out great. It turned out really fabulous. Check him out. He turned out really, really well. So I decided to go with a log and then I thought, mm, a speckled frog, but I didn't want a speckled log. So he's just on a log by the side of some water with everything that I wanted. I was going to paint a little grub of some description flying by or sitting on something here but then I thought to myself no nah, then I'd have to do a big ugly long frog tongue so I decided not to. I hope your little frog turns out really really well. Don't forget when you've done it share a picture with us on our Facebook group so we can all have a look and others can be inspired by your plump little frog. We have new tutorials every Monday. If you'd like to help us out you can like this video, share it, subscribe or support us on Patreon, Ko-fi or an Amazon wishlist. See the links in the description below. Until I see you next time, keep on rocking. Ciao for now.